lovelies, welcome back to the channel. So, <laughs> uh, the end of the year there, the end of 2019 just got kind of chaotic and awful for me and I fell very behind on a lot of videos, especially my moon box unboxings, which I hit. I feel just this like stress and guilt about not getting them done. So I'm gonna be doing my best to catch up. So I'm going to be throwing my one box per video out the one box per video rule out the window for a little while until I get caught up. So we're doing a double unboxing today and we'll have another double unboxing about a month from now and hopefully I can get back into the swing of things. So you are about to see part one of this unboxing where I have a different style because I recorded it intending it to just be on its own and then I will be back with this style so we can do the second one. So I will see you in a moment. Hello lovelies, welcome back to the channel. It is of course time for another Witch's Moon box unboxing. I love these. So we must not dilly or dally. We're going to open this right up. Oh yes. Ooh. Okay. So as I mentioned before I like, you know, say any of like the dates associated with this box, I am behind. I am trying, but I am behind. So this box, so this box seems to have a sort of orange theme. And right on top, we have our table of contents, which we read at the end so we don't spoil any surprises. And we have our oracle reading, and mine is Merge. Allow your head and heart to meld together as you embrace all parts of you. The marriage of ego and soul creates an expansion and awakening where your resistance to new ways of being and thinking dissolves, unveiling the love and truth of you. And there's lots more there that I will read after, but this is gorgeous. I always love the little bits of information on these, but this is what it looks like. We also have some sort of sigil on top here. And I always love these. I'm always very fascinated by sigils. So that is very interesting indeed. And we have two little mini pieces of artwork here. We have Holly King and Oak King. Oh, and that's what those look like. So let's move on to what is in the main bulk of the box. I think we'll start with the salt. So this is, ooh, the Renewal Sacred Salt, and the label on this is beautiful. That is very, very nice. Let's have a little sniff. Hmm, I can't, I can't place any of the smells in this, but it does smell lovely. I just, none of them are strong enough on their own to sort of come out to me. We have some herb sachets. We have red clover and, oh, orange peel. Very nice. We have Harvest Sunset Ritual Tea. Mmm, that smells wonderful. I can definitely see a lot of orange peel in there and then some sort of red fruits, I think. We'll have to see at the end, but here is what it looks like. Mm. Oh, we have a little short beeswax candle this month. Hold on. And this candle is um, for a silent reflection spell. And this is what it looks like. We have our crystal or stone this month. I love the color of this bag. It kind of matches the whole thing I have going on today. And let's see what we have in here. Ooh, if I had to guess, I would say perhaps like citrine or something, but I don't know if it's usually more clear, but we will find out at the end. Oh, there's a little tea bag here for the tea. Ooh, a little glass dish. I assume that is probably for this. That's what my guess would be is it's a little holder for the candle, which is very convenient actually, that's perfect. It doesn't have any designs or anything, it is just a little glass dish. Very, very useful. Ooh, is this perhaps what I think it is? If it is, it's a very pretty version. Ooh, okay, so this looks like a wonderful sort of branch, but the whole thing is metal, and then it has a little sort of bell at the end, but without the dingle dangle, and I think this is perhaps for putting out candles, which I love. Oh my God, there's much more extra than just blowing them out. I can like wander through my home like, I really enjoy that. It might be something else. That's what it looks like to me. We will find out when we read the thing. Where do you see it? Hello? Sorry, that took longer than expected, but I had a good old chat there. Okay, so we have our incense. Oh yes, we do. Oh, what is that? Is that cinnamon? Like, it's hard to tell with incense, but like, I th I'm thinking maybe that's like cinnamon or something. Mm, we'll find out if I'm right at the end. But that is like my first guess. We will grab our oil and this is, ooh, the green man. Oh, I hope it smells very green. Oh my God, that smells so nice. What the hell? Mm, that's not what I was expecting at all, but it is really lovely. And definitely like, actually get much more of the like, sort of like green smell. I can see there's like 
some sort of piney looking thing in there and whenever I actually rub it on my skin much more of that comes through than what I'm getting straight out of the bottle. But there's also like a really nice, not necessarily floral, but like something sort of like nice and sweet smelling. Oh, it's, oh I love that, okay. Okay, very happy about that. We'll find out what's in there at the end, hopefully. And finally, we have some sort of special item here. I thought we were done with our special item with uh, this little doodad here, but apparently not. Ooh. Oh! 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 Okay, that's cool. Wow, that's so pretty. <gasps> So it is this guy here, you can see like the face and the tree with like the acorns and stuff. So it's like a sort of like oak man type thing. And it's a candle holder and it is so gorgeous. The detail on that is lovely. Oh, and even the inside, like if you don't have a candle in there, it looks like a hollowed out tree stump. That's perfect, oh my goodness. That's wonderful, oh my god, okay. So as always, this is lovely. Where is our toilet hiding? Okay, so let's see what all everything wants. And this box is amidst the shadow land. Okay, uh, green man candle holder with glass insert. Yes, we got that, very nice. I think the green man comes up quite often. Branched candle snuffer, it is a candle snuffer. And now I can put the candle in the, in the holder and poof. Good. <laughs> so yeah, it looks like a little branch. That is gorgeous. Yes, we did get that. Oak King Book of Shadows artwork. Yes. Holly King Book of Shadows artwork. Yes. Transformation sigil. Yes, we've got that. Silent reflection spell candle. Yes. Lovely beeswax as always. And it's been anointed with clove oil, cedarwood oil, and shadow work magical anointing oil. The Green Man magical anointing oil, yes, okay, what is in there? <laughs> because it smells wonderful. So it has cedar and clove oils, and it has willow bark, oak bark, and cedarwood. There's also Lemurian quartz, and a special mixture of transformation magical oil. Maybe it is just the clove that's sort of associating something sweet in my brain. Oh, but it's so nice, I love it. Renewal Sacred Salt, and it has, oh, tea, tea, tea tree, rosemary, and lemongrass oils, as well as willow, rosemary, and lemongrass herbs, and a special mixture of born again magical oil. That's lovely, and that's this little salt. I think I'll use that in my next bath. I was completely wrong on the crystal, that is honey calcite. I've never heard of that before. And it's a stone of clarity and insight. Warmth of seasons, incense sticks. Does not say what the scent is, but the mention of warmth and stuff makes me think of cinnamon as well. So I'm, I'm thinking it might be something in that realm. Uh, Harvest Sunset Herbal Tea. Mm -hmm. Lemon peel, orange peel, and rose hips. Ah, that's what the red fruit looking thing was. Uh, there is orange peel, like the herb, yes. And it's a wonderful divination and prosperity ingredient. There is the red clover. Personalized oracle reading. Yes, we got that right at the start. And our parchment paper is in here as always. Okay, so that was everything for this box. I really did enjoy this. I hope you did too. Oh, I can't get over how nice that smells. And I love all the little pieces in this box. That is just really, really gorgeous. I'm really excited to use everything. Alrighty, Roo, we are back and it is time to do the second unboxing of this video. Double the fun, guys. And ooh, bloody hell, phone is going on silent. This is woo, what we're working with right on top. So, first of all, we have our table of contents, which I read at the end because I don't like to spoil my surprises. And then we have our personalized oracle reading. Oh, so on this side there's a lion, but on the other side there's a bee, which is very fitting for me. So the bee represents creativity, purpose, harvest, and devotion. And this is him right here. Or her, I guess. This is her right here. And yes, you guys know how obsessed I am with bees. So that is... That is wonderful, and it's reminding me of spring, which I'm so desperate for. So this is a little rayish sunshine in this horrible weather. I'm freezing to death up here. It is so cold. Okay. Ooh. So next up, there's a lovely little like mini piece of artwork. I apologize for my nails, by the way, throughout this video. Um, I used this like yellow nail polish that turned out to be really weird, and it chipped really badly, and it stained my nails yellow, and I can't find my nail polish remover to get the stuff that's chipped off. So we're we're having a bad time with the nails. Moldavite, I think. I've actually never heard of that before, but we have the ooh, oh, there's two. So we have Moldavite. I hope that's right. <laughs> and uh, the shamanic roots of witchcraft. Ooh, very interesting. So <laughs> my chain keeps getting caught in my choker. This is this one. And I 
Lovely. So I'm excited to read about that. Okay, getting into the box. Um, I'm hoping I'm doing these in the right order because I did have them neatly arranged, but then Jake is moving some stuff around and he moved the boxes, so I'm hoping I'm not doing them out of order. If I am, I'm sorry, but at the end of the day, we're, we're seeing what's in them. <laughs> so the interior of the box is very earthy because we've got this like brown paper and then this green, you know, packing stuff. So it's very, very much that kind of vibe. And first up on top, we have, oh, ooh, Healer of the Forest Sacred Salt Kit. So instead of being in a little tub this time, we have something in this bag, which looks very nice. What can I see in there? Definitely seeing lavender. I'm thinking perhaps rose. Oh, I can open it and smell it. I don't know why I didn't think that was an option. I think it's because it's in such a nice package, I didn't want to ruin it, but we're gonna have to open it eventually to use it, so. Oh, so this actually comes with a little strainer cloth, so it's like tea for your bath. That's interesting. Oh, straight away, a lot of lavender there. So we've got lavender, we've got chamomile, Chamomile, chamomile. Mm, what else is in there? There's some sort of bark, but I can't quite place it. Hmm, we'll find out what else is in there at the end, but I am interested. Oh yeah, it has like a little sort of like tea bag style thing. There is another tea bag in here. I don't know if that's also for the salt or if there's gonna be some tea in here, but it's always good to have these. We have a few sachets of herb, which are, I am not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what this one says. The big swirly letters at the start throw me off. Wow, the camera just, it's just giving up, huh? Oh, bloody hell, right, okay. Well, there's some sort of herb in here and we'll find the name of it at the end. There is also, this looks like it says gag root, but I don't think that's right. And we root, perhaps? We'll find the proper names of all of these at the end. There's something in here called Herbs of It, and it looks like it might be a tea. I am not sure, but it definitely gives me that vibe. Hopefully they're not the It Herbs of Death. Oh, that's minty. Mm, that's like a very refreshing minty smell. I do enjoy that. Okay, next up what's calling to me is a rather, what do we have this rather large box here, but it's quite light. Oh, Ooh, my goodness. Wow, okay, there's two things in here. So first of all, there is this rather amazing necklace. I'm not sure what this is made. Like it looks like an antler, but just the way it is, I'm assuming it's not a real one, but we will see what the deal with this is when we get to the end. But it looks like a sort of like a horn or an antler with an amethyst coming out of the top. And then this little sort of like what I think might be a rune symbol or something on there. And it's attached by this cord which is just, I have enough necklaces on right now, but this is so cool, I love this. I can't wait to find out more about this. And then next, little brown paper package. It is not tied up with string, but it is still adorable. Oh, so it is like a little piece of something suspended in this little case here, if you can see. And I'm not sure what it is. I was thinking maybe like meteorite at first, but it's like a green color, so I'm not sure. But whatever it is, I'm very interested in. It's very pretty. So yeah, that has me very intrigued. Okay, next up we have our oil and it is highest realm oil. There's definitely something like minty or menthol-ish in there, but it's quite, it's like taking a back seat to something else. And I just wouldn't be able to tell you what it is. It's a very strange smell, whatever it is. So we will see, but that is interesting. We have our spell candle. The spell is not with it, so it's just a brown beeswax candle on its own. Smells wonderful, and as always, you can never have too many of these, so that is excellent to have. I have such a good collection now. I wish I had, like, neighbors who also used this kind of thing, so I would love to be, like, the person that they can come to that always has, like, whatever herb or candle they need, but for now, I just have it for myself. Mm. And finally, we have our incense. Oh, and it's called Vision Quest. Mm, that's a very, like, fancy man smell you know what i mean that sort of like masculine cologne kind of smell it's very much that it's very like refreshing and nice so that is wonderful again can never have too much incense so that is very helpful indeed all right let's go through this so this box is a witch's journey uh oh okay so it actually right so naturally shed etched antler with amethyst pendant it actually is an antler wow okay so yeah it's naturally shed so nothing has been killed to take this deer do shed off their antlers sometimes i believe uh so yeah this is cruelty free but it is actually a real antler which makes me love it even more oh my goodness so yeah that this i am obsessed with this is definitely like the coolest thing in the box I 
love it. So yes, naturally shed, etched antler with amethyst pendant. Uh, I'm not going to read too much about each thing just because we are doing double unboxing so it can get lengthy. Uh, but there is plenty of information when you get these boxes but like it's a lot. There's like two pages of this so if I read everything we would be here forever. Moldavite within floating frame. Oh, so that's a stone. Moldavite is a stone and that's what we have. Sorry about that. My camera died. Uh, Moldavite. It actually, it is a stone and it actually is from a meteorite. So I was correct. Oh, from the collided in the Czech Republic almost 14.9 million years ago. That's so cool. Moldavite Magical Correspondences Book of Shadows artwork. Yes, that was one of the things I showed you at the start. Uh, hand rolled quest on the sunless sea spell candle with spell incan. Maybe that was the little thing at the start? It is, here we go. So the pretty thing is the, the spell this time. Okay, cool. Yeah, quest on the sunless sea spell candle. Uh, with the purpose of guiding you into another state of being. Highest realm magical anointing oil. Here we go, what was in that? Pine, cedar, fir, needle, and rosemary oils. And juniper berry, motherwort, and a Lemurian quartz. So I thought it was something like minty, but I guess I was just getting like the juniper berry and the like very herbal smells of like all the sort of piney things and the rosemary. Uh, so that's strange, I guess just that's why it wasn't at the forefront. Uh, Healer of the Forest Sacred, S Sacred Salt Kit with the intention of bringing natural healing into your physical, spiritual and emotional energetic field. And it has cedar, sandalwood, lavender, chamomile and almond oils as well as white oak, willow, lavender, and chamomile herbs, and a special mixture of their white light magical oil. Vision Quest Ritual Incense Sticks, yep, doesn't say what the scent is, but like I said, it smells like fancy man. <laughs> uh, herbs of it, Ritual Tea with Muslin Bag, yes, and it has Spearmint, Rosemary, Lemon Balm, Linden, Eucalyptus, Wood Betony, Blackberry Leaf, and Eleuthero Root. <laughs> As you drink this, we recommend listening to music or songs that place you in a calm and focused state. Okay. Oh, it is gag root. Okay, gag root or lobelia. Oh, I think I grew lobelia once. Gag root, commonly used to make salves and herbal ointments. Wild endive root, endive, and oh, dandelion. So dandelion root. Uh, dandelion's amazing for you, actually. Like, just all parts of it are very good for, for you, as far as I'm aware. Grandilla or passion flower brings calming and relaxing energies into our aura and environment. The shamanic roots of witchcraft, book of shadows artwork. Yes. Personalized oracle reading with the bee. Yes. And parchment paper, which is always in the back here. Yes, we got everything. There we go. So I hope you enjoyed this double unboxing. Hopefully it isn't too super long. And as I say, I'll have another one along in a little while so we can get caught up because I felt really bad about not getting these done. It has been, I keep waking up like with like a, like chest pains from how stressed I am about it. So it'll be good to get back on track. 2020, I'm hoping will go better for me. 2019 was a bit crap, honestly. A lot of it just wasn't great. So I'm trying to bring a lot of positivity and bit more confidence in all of that in 2020. Will I be successful? We don't know, but I'm gonna try and that's what got me. <sighs> so I hope you enjoyed this. Remember to leave me a comment, let me know how you're doing, how is your 2020 going so far. Do give the video a little thumbs up if you don't mind, I'd love to see that. If you're new here, consider subscribing. You can check out some other videos first and see what you think. If you'd like to join the family, we'd love to have you here. Do hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. <gasps> And finally, before you go, if you could check out my Patreon, I would love you forever because that is the best possible way to support this channel. Support me, keep me going, keep me, keep me alive. <laughs> uh, but honestly, Patreon is like an amazing way to support this channel. If you would like to know more about it, the link is in the description. There's plenty to read. I'll probably update it soon so it's a little clearer, but there is a lot there. So feel free to check it out. And that's me done. I can see my breath. So I'm going downstairs. No, I'm going to where it's warm. And I will see you next time. Bye, lovelies.